Hello everyone, welcome to Nexum. Today we will discuss the current affairs of the month of April and we will primarily focus on the current affairs which are related to Northeast and the state of Assam. So let's start. First question is which Northeastern state celebrated the Khongjom Day? The answer is Manipur. Next question is, which riding service has collaborated with Assam Police to offer free rides up to 10 lakhs to non-COVID patients? And the answer is Uber. So Uber is a ride-sharing app and recently it has collaborated with Assam Police and National Health Mission Assam to provide free rides up to 10 lakhs rupees to non-COVID patients during the lockdown. Next question is, on which day Sati Sadhani Dibas is celebrated? And the answer is 20 April. So on 20 April, Sati Sadhani Dibas is celebrated in Assam. And Sati Sadhani was a queen of Sutia kingdom. Next question is, what is the amount of insurance cover to all frontline workers by Assam government? So the answer is 50 lakhs. So recently, Assam government has provided all the frontline workers of the state with 50 lakhs rupees insurance cover. Next question is, what is who is the present Chief Secretary of Assam? The answer is Kumar Sanjay Krishna. He is the present Chief Secretary of Assam. If we talk about other options, then Faskar Juti Mahanto is the Director General of Police of Assam. And Sanjay Kisan is the Labor Welfare Minister of Assam. He is also holding the T-Tribes Welfare Ministry. Next question is, what are genetic diseases? The correct answer is it spreads from animal to human. So genetic diseases spread from animal to human. And the ongoing COVID-19 is also a genetic disease. And actually many people are, people are claiming that it is a genetic disease. Next question is what is the total amount of financial assistance given to stranded people of Karbyanglong by CEM Tuliram Ramhang? The answer is 49 lakhs. Next question is, what is the percentage of cut down of salaries of Assam Legislative Assembly members for up to one year? And recently, Assam government has decided to cut down the salaries of all the MLAs for one year and it is because of COVID and the ongoing lockdown and since uh, because of the lockdown the state economy has gone into recession and the correct answer is 30 percent. Next question is mcovid19 dot in is a website of which northeastern state to provide information about COVID-19 and it has been done by Manipur government. Manipur government has initiated a website and they have also launched an app that is also the, that is also in the same name mcovid19. Chief Minister of the Chief Minister of Manipur is N. Biren Singh and the Governor is Najma Heptullah. Next question is, what is the name of cargo initiative by IAF, that is Indian Air Force, to provide medical supplies to Northeast states? And the answer is Lifeline Uran. So Indian Air Force has started a new initiative named Lifeline Uran, and under this initiative, IAF is providing essential items and medical supplies to Northeastern states. And the Civil Aviation Ministry has also started a new scheme called Krishi Uran and it is basically for farmers. 
and the civil aviation minister is uh, Hardeep Singh Puri. Next question is, which startup will help Assam government with specialized drones to monitor and fight with COVID-19? The answer is Drones Tech Lab. So it is a startup based in Guwahati and it will help, it will provide Assam government with specialized drones to monitor people and promote social distancing. Which IIT developed low-cost ultraviolet disinfection system to fight with COVID-19? And this low-cost ultra ultraviolet disinfection system has been developed by IIT Guwahati. Which northeastern state has launched a food bank initiative to provide free meals to poor citizens? And this is an initiative by Manipur government. Manipur government, uh, Manipur Chief Minister and Biren Singh has started an initiative that is called Food Bank and under this initiative they are providing free meals to poor citizens during lockdown. On which day Agni Sena Divas is observed? So on 14 April, Assam State Disaster Management Authority and Fire Brigade Department of Assam observed Agni Sena Divas. And the motto of the Agni Sena Divas is Samanam Agni Saranam Agni. So this is a new section and in this section we will talk about recent awards and achievements of Assam in the April month. So recently three Gram Panchayats of Assam was were able to won prestigious Rashtriya Gaurav Gram Puraskar Award 2020. So in the first section, Nanaji Desmuf Rashtriya Gaurav Gram Puraskar Award was given to was won by Salmara Gram Panchayat and this Gram Panchayat is in Nagao district. So in the, uh, the second war award, Best Child Friendly Gram Panchayat and this has been won by Barbatar Gram Panchayat and this Gram Panchayat is in Dibrugarh district. And the last award, Best Gram Panchayat Development Plan Award and it is won by Malinipur Gram Panchayat under Dhemaji Zila Parishad. So in the month of April, the three districts of Assam have won this prestigious national award. Next question is, and we should also know about uh, a very important day which is related to Gram Panchayats and the day is National Panchayati Ras Day and, and it was observed on 24 April. Next question is, which app has been launched by Arunachal Pradesh for COVID-19? And the correct answer is COVID Care. So COVID Care is an app developed by Arunachal Pradesh for COVID-19. If we talk about other options, then Kofos is an app by Assam government. Arugya Setu is an app developed by Government of India with in collaboration with National Informatics Center. And Assess Corona is an app launched by Delhi government. Next question is, what is the name of the app launched by Assam government for COVID-19? And the correct answer is Kofas app. So Assam government has launched an app and it is the name of the app is Kofas. If we talk about other options, then Exit app is an app developed by, launched by West Bengal government. M COVID 19 is an app by Manipur government and COVID care is an app by Arunachal Pradesh government. Next question is what is the name of the website launched by Assam government for COVID 19? And the answer is covid19.assam.gov.in. And Assam government has also launched an app and the name of the app is COFAS app and it has been developed by National Informatics Center. And recently, Hozai District has also 
launched an app and the name of the app is COVID Suraksha app. Which state has become first in country to free from COVID-19? And recently Goa has been completely free from COVID-19 and it was the first state in our country to free from COVID-19. And if we talk about second state, that second state, then Manipur, Manipur was the second state of our country to be free from COVID-19. And it was the first state in our northeast to be free from COVID-19. Which district has launched the boat clinic equipped with COVID-19 treatment facilities? And recently, Bangaigao District Administration has launched a boat clinic which is equipped with COVID-19 treatment facilities. So if we talk about some facts from history, then on, a, on 16 April 1853, the first passenger train was run over a stretch of 33 kilometers from Bombay to Thane. And the train with 14 railway carriages carrying around 400 people left Bori Bandar at around 3.30 p.m. So on 16 April 1853, the first passenger train was run in India. Next question is, which retired Assam Meghalaya cadre IS officer got appointed as secretary to the president of India? And the answer is Kapil Dev Tripathi. Recently, he has been appointed as secretary to the president of India. And he is a retired IS officer. If we talk about other options, then Rabish Kumar is was the former spokesperson of external affairs ministry and the current spokesperson of external affairs ministry is Anurag Srivastava and Subhasandra Das is leading the committee which is formed to study the economic reforms of our state Assam and he was appointed by Sarbananda Sunwal, the chief minister of Assam. So recently, Pomi Borwa series an ACS officer that is Assam Civil Service Officer and she is leading the state helpline 104 helpline task and she is serving as a nodal officer. So she is one of the most important bureaucrats of our state and she is leading the state helpline 104 helpline task right currently. Next question is, how many farmers will avail the benefits of Pradhan Mantri Kishan Sanman Nidhi and Chief Minister Special Scheme Initiative? Correct answer is, total 33 lakhs people will be benefited from these two schemes. And if we talk about particularly, then 27 lakhs people will be benefited from PM Kisan Sanman Nidhi and other six like six lakhs people will be benefited from CM Special Scheme Initiative and the name of the initiative is Mukhamutri Krishi Ha Hojuli Juzana. Next question is so this is an important news. So Arunachal Pradesh is going to set up two new COVID-19 hospital in Itanagar and another one is Pasighat district and the first COVID-19 hospital of Arunachal Pradesh is Tomariba Institute of Health and Medical Sciences and the Chief Minister of Arunachal Pradesh is Prema Khandu and the Governor of Arunachal Pradesh is B.D. Mishra and our India's current India's present sports minister is also from Arunachal Pradesh and his name is Kiran Rijiju. Next question is Matterhorn mountain is in which country? So this is a mountain is in Switzerland and recently this mountain was lit up with lights and recently this mountain was lit up 
with Indian uh, showing Indian flags with lights. So recently, government ha government of India has banned spitting in public, and this has been done under the Section Fifty One B of Disaster Management Act Two Thousand Five. Answer in the comment section the nuances between the Epidemic Disaster Act 1897 and Disaster Management Act 2005. So we all know that under the Epidemic Disaster Act 1897, coronavirus recent ongoing COVID-19 disease has been listed. Next question is, which district has launched report crowd web portal to contain and disperse crowd accumulation and enhance social distancing during lockdown? This has been done by Kachar district. So recently Kachar district administration has launched a web portal named report crowd to contain and disperse crowd accumulation and they are trying to our people about social distancing with this web portal. Which Assamese politician passed away recently? And the answer is Devanand Kaur. So he was a famous politician of Assam and his party was Indian National Congress. He was also the former governor of West Bengal and Tripura. If we talk about other options, then Tony Lewis is the, so Tony Lewis also passed away and he was the mo, was one of the most important person, personalities in international cricket. And he has invented the duck quote Lewis method. And the Janet Dits was the creator and director of Tom and Jerry. And the Fourth option, Usha Ganguly also passed away and she was a famous director. What is the name of first Hindi newspaper of Arunachal Pradesh? And the correct answer is Arun Bhumi. So recently Arun Bhumi, this is, a, this is the first Hindi newspaper of Arunachal Pradesh and it has started circulating from Arunachal Pradesh. So we have already covered the Khongjam day. So let's get to know briefly about this. So Khongjam day is celebrated in Manipur state and it marks the Anglo-Manipuri war of 1891. Recently, which bridge was inaugurated over Upper Subhansiri River in which state? So this was inaugurated over over Upper Subhansiri River and it was in it was inaugurated in Arunachal Pradesh by Chief Minister Prema Khandu. And the name of the bridge is Hangpan Dada Bridge. And uh, this has been built by BRO, that is Border Roads Organization. Assam government launched a YouTube channel and an app to facilitate e-learning. What is the name of the app and the YouTube channel? So the correct answer is Bissabidda Assam. Assam. So recently, Assam government has launched a YouTube channel named Bissabidda Assam and it has also launched an app and the name of the app is Bissabidda Assam to facilitate e-learning during this lockdown. Who is the new administrator of BTC, that is Boruland Territorial Council? And the correct answer is Rajesh Prasad. And he is an IS officer and he is appointed by the governor of Assam, Jagdish Mukherjee. So recently, uh, Boruland Territorial Council was dissolved by, the, by our governor of the state, that is, that is Jagdish Mukherjee. And the new administrator of BTC is Rajesh Prashad. Who is the new principal secretary of BTC? And the correct answer is Siddhartha Singh. Siddhartha Singh is an IS officer 
and he is the new principal secretary of Borland Territorial Council. We, if we talk about other options, then Pramod Boru is the president of UPPL, and he was the former president of EPSU, that is All Boru Students Union, and he is one of the most important person of Boru politics. And Hagrama Mohilari was the former. We have to say former because the council is dissolved now, but he was the earlier chief of Borland Territorial Council and he is the chief of BPF, that is Borland People's Front. So there is a question for you and answer the question in the comment section. So the question is, under which schedule of the Constitution of India autonomous councils are created. So there is a section, did you know? So we all know about ASHA workers who are working in the forefront and who are working as a frontline worker of COVID-19. So did you know the full form of ASHA and the Full form of ASA is accredited social health activist. So if you have any queries or questions or any suggestion, feel free to reach us at hello at nexam.in. And we have a special message for you. Please stay home and stay safe during this lockdown and ensure safety of yours and your family. And this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching the video and all the best. Thank you. See you in the next video.